let me tell you let me tell you something friends the dating pool has fucking piss in it especially in chicago okay i expanded my horizons and i was like let me do something out of my comfort zone went on a date with somebody that i absolutely honestly would probably never even try to talk to but i'm like you know what sometimes people go for their type and their type and their type and then they end up falling in love with someone that's not their type so i'm like let me just give it a try yeah never again let me tell you what happened. So I went out with this man, okay? Let's just say his name is Rollin, okay? Rollin O'Johnner, okay? Long story short, okay? Lacrosse player, whatever. I should have known then, okay? Lacrosse player. Picks me up from my home, suburban area, okay? Nothing crazy at all. Picks me up, okay? And it's like, oh, you kind of live in the hood. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I don't know what mansion you're used to, but whatever. And I need to start, but I'm not really one to judge others because just why, you know? So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna let that slide. Yeah, we really believe that. You have a major, major, major attitude and you are probably the one of the most conceited women I've ever reviewed in these videos. That's for sure. And it just began. So we proceed. Okay, we're on our way to dinner. This man looks at me and he's like, our wedding would be so colorful. And now I'm Indian, so I'm thinking, oh my god, yeah, like, you know, like, our dresses, like, our ceremonies, everything's super vibrant, colorful, great. This hoe looked at me and said, because you're a lot darker than I expected you to be. Rollin! 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 Rollin, I'm gonna put my hands on you, Rollin. It's probably because you're using a filter like all you ladies do on this TikTok. And Instagram and Facebook or wherever it's at, you use these filters to make yourself look lighter. You can clearly see if you look at her shoulder and you look at her forehead, you can see the difference. That is her more of her true color that's on her shoulder. But she's got a filter on making her face look lighter with the combination of the makeup, the foundations and all that. You know, you got a mask on and that's not really what you look like. And when people see you in, in a person, if you, you don't have you because you can't walk around with the filter attached to your damn face. That's probably what he's talking about. I was like. But at that point, we were already like halfway to the restaurant. I already I already committed to this plan. And I'm like, you know what? I'm already here at this point. I hate to be that person, but I'm like. Let me just go get my nice dinner because, you know, we were going to maple and ash. So I'm like, I'm going to eat. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to take advantage of these resources. He's already s supposedly insulted you about you living in the hood and about you being darker than he thought you were. But you're still going to go eat, though, right? Of course. So the car ride proceeds and he goes, oh, your hair looks gorgeous. I'm like, thanks already fully not knowing he's never gonna see me again i'm like thanks proceeds to say is that yours yeah it is because it could be ex extensions that's a fair question okay i'm like yeah it is he goes oh yeah it like literally looks like like horse like horse hair like you know like the horse's tail now i know my hair not be may not be the healthiest but like Horse's tail? Horse's tail is crazy. Actually, a horse's tail usually, well, I shouldn't say usually, but a lot of times when you look at a horse's tail, it's, the hair is very sheen. It's very shiny. You know what I'm saying? That could be what he's he's referencing. You know what I mean? But instead of looking at it like that, of course, it has to be an insult. And I can tell what's happening from my perspective. It seems like he's throwing out little jabs to try to uh, humble her a little bit, to try to bring her back down to earth. Because you can see that she is a piece of work. She is a lot. You know, she she's constantly talking. She's constantly cursing. You know what I'm saying? All this on top of I'm so pretty. So it could be a part of humbling, but it's not really... I don't really see it as a super insult when you really think about it that way. But, you know, women love to look at every single thing as an insult because they're so critical of everything about themselves. It's crazy, Rollin. Honestly, I didn't really have much to say for that. I was just like, okay. Cool. Proceeds in the car ride. At this point, I'm just dead silent because I'm like, oh my God, like, do I even, am I even hungry? I've lost my appetite. I've never, and I know a lot of people have experienced 
encounters like this, but I avoid this kind of man for a reason. The frat vibe. I avoid them like the plague for this reason. But I'm like, you know what? Like I said, I was trying to step out of my boundaries, my comfort zone, expand my horizons, not judge people. But at this point, I'm judging the fuck out of you. You're going to hell. Okay? But it gets worse. Just wait. So we're still driving, right? At this point, we're like literally about to pull up to the restaurant, okay? And he goes, oh, what did he say? It was something like, oh, yeah, like, well, you're with me now, so you're all good. And I'm like, what? Like, what are you talking about? He was like, yeah, like, because, you know, white on top. Uh, no. First of all, it doesn't even sound like a man would even say, yeah, white on top and all of that. So that is definitely an exaggeration. But again, why are you even entertaining all of this if you don't like the guy? Why? The reason why you're out there with him is because you perceive him to have money. That's what this is about. And you're with him and you're trying to make him bow down to you. Sounds like the guy knows he has options and he's not going to take crap off of you. And that's what you don't like. It's funny when that's in reverse. I beg your finest pardon? What? This man looked me dead in the fucking face and said, white's on top. On top of what exactly? But when you started talking about that, you said, I think he said this, or maybe he said that, which is it? If you know this story back to back, why is it that you have to say, maybe he said this, maybe he said that? I know why, because he never said it. And you're just making it up to play the victim, to throw men under the bus. Because it's 2024, and you're literally butt fuck uh, He wasn't ugly. But Joe, the way he was acting was real ugly. I'm not going to lie. He was pissing me the fuck off. So at this point, we're literally about to go to the valet, you know, because the man had money. It was whatever. Clearly, he was he had money. Okay, clearly. Because the way he was acting was very daddy's money. Even if I go to jail, I'll get bonded immediately. A behavior, okay? It was ridiculous. Mind you, it's not like I just hopped in the man's car, okay? I had conversations with him for like two weeks prior. Completely normal. Completely normal. Until... First of all, why are you bringing up jail? Oh, he's acting like he would be thinking this. Or he's acting like his daddy would save him. He's acting like his daddy would save him if he did anything and he would never go to jail. You're just, you know, you're all up in your imagination. That's what that is. Because you got to find some reason to throw him under the bus. Some reason to make him seem like he's, he's a bad guy. We get it. I don't know what happened. I don't know. And I honestly don't care. Because he's going to hell. But yeah, so we're pulling him to the valet, okay? And the valet guy's like, da 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 like, okay, sir, like, here, I'll take your car, blah, 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 park it, da 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 whatever. And I'm like, yeah, no, I'm not doing this. He was like, what? I said, take me home. He was like, what? I said, take me home. He was like, no, like, you're not getting, you're not, da 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 we're here already, I made a I don't care if you cured cancer, ho, take me home now. He was like, I'm not taking you home, blah, blah, blah. Like, I I already um have made reservations and we're going and we're having this dinner and blah, 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 la, la, la. So I said, take me home or I'm calling the police. Which which didn't phase him. Of course, did not phase him, right? Right, not at all. So I pull out my phone. He was calling my bluff. One thing about it, don't call my bluff. Because I already do psychotic shit on a daily basis. You think that I won't do what the fuck I'm saying I'm doing? I will absolutely do it and some more and some more and there it is this girl is crazy y'all she's crazy and there's some women out there that are like her you see she couldn't bully him and she couldn't get away with what she wanted to get away from so the next thing is because she's so crazy is to threaten to call the police and i highly doubt that when she said she wanted to go home that he refused to take her home I think this is all made up. I think this is like a ploy to, uh, you know, get women to side and say, you know, women are always in danger and watch out who you deal with and all that. And a lot of times they do this because they can't get their way. So they go to the extreme. And if they're crazy like her, they will. And fellas, some of you might think she's fine as hell. You might think she's she's over 10. You know, she's attractive and all that. But look, it doesn't matter how they look, man. A lot of them are crazy. A lot of them are psychopaths. Look where she jumped from. Now she's talking about calling the police. So I pull out my phone. I get to 9-1 and I looked at him. 
I looked at him. I said, is this what you want to do right now? Is this what you want to do right now? Really? Really? You're going to hold me hostage over a dinner? You're going to make me call the police? Is that what you want on your record right now? Mind you, he's in law. Is that what you want? He had to do his, like, I don't know, fitness test or something like that. Oh! Not the seats randomly. Is it a ghost? I'm sorry, guys. I don't know why. Um, clearly, I'm in a Tesla, and you can do, like, your custom, like, seat adjustments, and it just randomly adjusted on its own, and I... But back to the story. So I'm like, is this what you really want to do? Like, you know, your character, fitness, whatever the fuck, you know? And he was like, fine, if you want to be like that, blah, blah, blah whatever da, da, da. this is why i don't date dark bitches anyway so obviously he realized i wasn't fucking around and took me home okay and guess who wrote a lovely email to his school pass that character and fitness test now ho wow you're talking about vindictive you boy i'm telling you guys you better be very careful about the women that you deal with man seriously and i'm pretty sure that this that this guy got some kind of indication that she was crazy before he even went out on a day with her he might have just bypassed that because he thought she was attractive and all that dangerous game now she's trying to ruin his whole livelihood and who knows what she actually told them because women will some women will do this guys you got to be careful. And and one thing I want to say to my Indian friends, people that are actually from India, she does not represent the people that I know. That's for sure. And I'm pretty sure her parents do not act like that. This is what you call Americanized, uh, this, this quote, strong feminist, I'm a bad bitch type of, you know, attitude. I'm very aggressive and I'm very masculine and I got to pretend and act crazy because it's cool. This is what all of us are doing. But I just want to make sure that I, you know, give a shout out because I have some friends that are actually from India. And I've known little kids that have grown up here. And I know people that don't act like that. It's ridiculous. I don't need any man like that walking the streets being a lawyer. Talking like that. And he was trying to do criminal defense. Have you lost your rabbit ass mind? You want to go and defend criminals? With that type of mentality, are you crazy? It's giving he's going to accidentally put them in jail instead of save them. Seriously. So, yeah. The dating pool in Chicago is pissed. Pissing it. And no, I'm not going to Federales. Stop telling me to go to Federales. I don't want to throw an ice thing at the bell. And I don't want to meet my husband that way. Please, spare me. Spare me. Spare me. Anyways. Yeah, he got in trouble. Um, I'm not going to go into detail as to what happened because... Wow. Wow. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm supposed to or allowed to or even let you guys know this much, but yeah. Wow. Have a great day. And don't date Rollins. Okay? Especially not in Chicago. So she actually got this guy in trouble. You see that? Now, she could be lying about that, too, just to kind of get some kudos or whatever, some cheers from her little female friends that might be following her. But this is a dangerous game, guys. Be careful who you deal with. It started out she was after this guy's resources. Because, see, women are looking at resources before looks, and y'all need to understand that. Women don't put looks at the top of the priority list. They never have throughout human history. It's not about how good you look, how good your body is. It's about your resources. If you have resources, you become a target. And a lot of times when you deal with women like this and they don't get their way, some of them are extremely vindictive. Some of them will try to ruin your whole livelihood. Some of them will try to call the police and say, he did something to me. He did something to my daughter if she's a single mom. He held me captive. He wouldn't let me out of his car. He jumped in front of me. He grabbed my arm. Uh, any number of things. Because a woman is going to be believed from the jump. And you're going to have to prove that you didn't do anything wrong. So please, fellas, don't just give these women passes. And don't just look past attitudes and actions because you think the woman is attractive. She is attractive, but so are many other women. A lot of women are attractive, 
And a lot of women that are attractive are just normal, average women. There's nothing special about her. There's nothing humble about her. There's nothing feminine about her. All you see is a vengeful, conceited, stuck up, entitled woman in this video. She just happens to be young. She is going to be lonely and single forever. Unless one of you little Captain Saver 304s wants to jump on her team and save her. Because I know a lot of men will, are willing to do that. The simp brigade that helped perpetuate this type of attitude. When a woman gives you any kind of indication that she's not going to respect you, bounce. Let her go her own way. Live in a life of abundance, not scarcity. And never, ever, ever put up with anything like this. When you notice attitude, bounce. That's all I have to say about this video right here. You guys let me know what you think about it in the comments. Make sure to please like this video. It helps the alg algorithm here. I always have that word mixed up in my tongue. <laughs> but the algorithm, it always helps the algorithm here on um, YouTube. So please do that for me. Leave a comment and all that. Because I'm trying to get to those 5,000 subscribers before the end of the year. And with your help, I'm going to get there. I'm getting closer, 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 closer. But uh, as always, have a great day, guys. Thanks for watching this video. And I will see you in the next one. Peace. May the force be with you.